go actually into the, uh, the body lock, so this guy's going to move over. Oh, man, right into this position. And then try to get the lock as tight as possible. So whenever you get stuck in this body lock, what you want to try to avoid is belly breathing, so like expanding your diaphragm in and out this way. Because every time I squeeze or breathe in, and I, uh, sorry, I breathe out and that my rib cage starts going inwards, Shindo can start squeezing tighter and tighter, and then now I can no longer expand back out. And it really starts to drain me out. So what you want to try to do is create a casing with your rib cage, and like I'm gonna almost like push my stomach outwards. So you can even see his uh, feet kind of expand outwards when I push out. So I'm gonna keep this expanded outwards and keep my breathing while expanding. So just think about like kind of flexing your abs the whole time while breathing. It's gonna drain you, but at least you have a casing, and inside that casing, your lungs are compressing in and out through there. Try not to belly breathe. So when people, when you're panicking, you're going, <sighs> and this thing's gonna get tighter and tighter like an anaconda. So breathe out and just kind of take shallower breaths until you can get out of this position. The thing with this uh, body lock that's really uncomfortable is obviously he's squeezing on my rib cage and now I can't do any rotation. It's hard for me to rotate left or right. It's very difficult to escape this. So first thing we're gonna do is just show you the leg lock, uh, which is probably illegal for all of you guys, but we'll just go over it anyway. So on this one, whenever someone locks this way, it's very unlikely, so that he's got his legs to the left side of me, that he's gonna hook the seatbelt to the other side. Usually it's gonna be matched up to the same, like there's a lock here, he's gonna lock usually to this side. And it's because the, the way your body's already t uh, tilting, this side is a more of an effective choke than kind of going counteractive with your lower and upper body. So when you're here, you're, you can do the same thing, just controlling after this lead. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean this way. And as I lean, I'm gonna try to get this foot. And again, it's not gonna work if the guy gets this hook here. You have to undo this hook. But I'm gonna try to undo this hook and come up around. And my goal is to lock the triangle in the same way that he has. So right now his right leg is over and his left leg is his clamp. I'm gonna do the same thing. My right leg is over and my left leg is clamped. Okay, so it's just a, just a whole bunch of triangles going on here. So all I need to do is I keep my foot on the floor nice and tight next to my butt, as tight as I can. Now I have the leverage to start shooting my ankles or my hips straight forward and starting to lock his ankle or get a calf uh, kind of slice here. One more time. Oh man. Ready? Go here. Control and defend. Make sure that choke's uh, you know, not a threat yet. Create that casing with the diaphragm and start belly breathe, or don't belly breathe, but uh, just take shallow breaths within your casing. Okay. Dump right. I'm gonna undo this foot hook and try to shoot behind it. Okay. I can even try to lock on the outside of his ankle to give me time to lift this up. If I can bring this way up in front of my foot, that's even better. I can do it without my hands. If I can't, I'm not as flexible to bring this up, you can use your hand to grab and continue pulling it as high as you can. Okay. Now I'm gonna whip around and I essentially have the exact same body lock triangle. Okay. And then now I'm gonna start shooting my hips forward. If you put this foot here, you can't do your hips as, as effectively. I'm gonna bring my foot as tight as I can to my butt and now I can really drive my, my hips forward. Okay. Let's give that a shot. One, two, three. Go with. Let's suck everything in so they can get it at least. So in this position, Sometimes it's really hard to get my foot back underneath and getting this foot to the center. If I can get this here, I can lock this triangle just sitting in this position. But it's really hard. A lot of guys do a good job hiding this foot and tucking this in here. And every time I try to kick, it's just stuck on it. So we're gonna do the same thing. It's just almost like the, our other back escape that we did. We're gonna dump him this way. And then now I'm trying to go for this and I can't undo this hook. This guy's right on, on top. He's following me very well. So what I'm gonna try to do is using my right foot and bring it in close. Okay. I need to bring this in close because I'm going to use this to almost do a further extended trip this way. Here. Okay. And I'm putting pressure up onto his hips and his back. So I'm bringing my, uh, uh, the middle of my back onto his sternum. And now I'm going to use my elbow to help clear. Here. Once I get right around 12 o'clock, I'm going to end up taking little baby steps with my right foot. Bang, 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 and just roll them back to this side. Once I get the guy, let's try a little bit for me. Once we get here and we're rolled to this side, all I'm gonna do is use my right foot now to undo this hook that was just stuck there. So I can use my foot, whereas before it's gonna be very difficult to do this, I can push this foot off and then undo. And now once I'm here, I can do the same escape that we did earlier, where we just keep moving. So I push his ankle out, and then now I just hip trim to this side here. From this position, if you guys end up with your butt all the way to the floor, the guy's gonna come into the mountain position. Okay. 
So what you can end up doing is you can drop, slide and drop here and start sitting up. Take the close guard or control the knee and push up into the leg drag position. The other thing that you can do, so we practiced that last time, is as soon as I escape here, boom, is you can just control this pant leg and start moving upwards. Okay? You just kind of ride up closer into his armpit. And one time I'll start from the beginning. I get some. Okay. Okay, gets the body lock. He's got his foot in tight now. It's very hard for me to escape. I'm gonna dump right like before. Okay. Now I'm gonna try to escape here. He's following me, doing a good job. I'm gonna use my right foot, load it up, and start shrimping up. Bang, step, step. As I do that, I can use my right elbow too. So come back again. So right here, if I'm, I can't do it in like a, a couple small hops, as I load this, I can use my right elbow as a post. Here, bang. It's very heavy here. Now I'm going to use this foot, undo this thing, and start pushing this leg out. Shrimp here. Okay. I can use this and just keep working upwards. Or I can drop this down, control this leg, and lift up towards me, and then slide this through the gap, kind of in a leg drag position. Any questions on that one? Let's get that shot. One, two, three.